Well, here we are on Wednesday evening, August 9th, I think it is, 2017, and way over in the southwest, pretty low in the sky, yet again, is uh, Jupiter. The four moons did show up in still pictures, three on the right side and one trailing behind. I still can't see Saturn. The sky got pretty mucked up during the day. I had beautiful... Uh, beautiful shots in the morning, but heh, we know how that goes. So, just a quick look here of Jupiter, and that's the only thing out here. <laughs> it's after 9 p.m. I don't know, uh, maybe about quarter after or so. Oh, finally, Saturn is trying to eke out. I'll try to get it. Alright, if not, I'll wave goodbye. Take care. Bye now. Okay, we are able to uh, zero in on Saturn. It's not the greatest view, um, because like I said in the other video, the sky is pretty mucky, but the only two light sources out here are these two planets. So we'll get these real quick, and hopefully in about, uh, oh, I don't know, hour, hour and a half, we might be able to get the moon. I think the moon would be about 94% uh, illuminated when it uh, rises this evening. So there's not much happening. Uh, sunspot looks pretty stable for the same time of day that I normally get Saturn. Um, the tilt is changed. It's not nearly tilted upward like it normally is. Um, Looks like it's more on its straight path now instead of going up. And I can't see Antares, like I said, well, uh, barely, barely a flicker over there. Oh, by the way, Saturn is in the south now. So things are changing a bit as we get further along in the month and through summer. By the way, there's no wind, not even the slightest of breezes. And it looks like Saturn's doing a bit of a jitterbug up there. <laughs> so maybe we're wobbling a little bit too much, or just wobbling. Who knows? All we can do is go by our own observations, and and again, the tripod's locked down. Tripod and the camera's locked down. Solid. Could be vibrations from the Earth or a wobble. Who knows? I surely don't. It looks like it's floating on, on water, is what it looks like. Bobbing up and down. That's funny. I love it. But of course, you can't go by what I'm saying. You know, this is just my observations, and I can tell you that the there's no breeze, and the camera's steady, and all that. Which it is, but, you know, it's... You can only go by what you see. Yourself. Trust in yourself. <laughs> wow. That is just so cool to watch. Rolling waves up there. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep old Saturn rolling tonight. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> it's gone on long enough. Our wavy Saturn says goodnight. All right, bye now. Well, just a quick look-see at uh, Antares. It's so hard to zero in on it, but uh, it's not looking near as colorful as, as normal. I don't know why, but... And for some reason, I don't know why, it looks uh, closer to Saturn. Oh, man, where's all our colors at? Dang it. Oh, that should be good. Uh, a few stars are coming out now. Arcturus is high up over uh, above Jupiter, so. Alrighty. There we go. Take care. Night. And real quick, that's uh, Arcturus way up in the uh, southwest. Could be in the west by now. As we see, it's going down, so. It's pretty high up from uh, Jupiter. Right about Jupiter's one o'clock position, but way out there. My goodness, we got four of them tonight. Even a mucked up skies, that's pretty good. 
<laughs> so if we keep this up, we should be able to get the the 94% moon tonight. Oh, I thought it was going to do a corkscrew there. <laughs> Fallen. Fallen star. Alrighty. <laughs> That's good for now. Take care. Bye. Well, hello again. I dang near almost forgot about the moon. I was in there editing all the uh, planet and stars videos and almost forgot to come back out for this. <laughs> but anyway, over here in the uh, southeast sky at 10.41 p.m. we have a 94.1% lit moon and right now it's a oh it shows 109 degrees in the east that's right it is in the east well it's pretty close to southeast though hmm anyway um it's nine degrees up above the horizon this is 109 degrees in the east but where it's coming up that is my southeast i don't know what's up with that we'll check that in the morning get my old compass out then a lot of atmosphere see how wavy it is the east southeast it looks pretty rusty color in that part of the sky this will be a bit unusual i think i have a uh, more footage of saturn than i do of even the moon tonight saturn was just so much fun watching it rolling on the waves and <laughs> be bopping around it's very still out. Can't feel a breeze. I do feel vibration under my feet, but... Oh, and Pam, if you're watching this, I switched over to moon mode. I got the planets and the stars over in manual and manual focus and all that stuff. But I switched up for this. It appears to get the color more accurate of what I'm seeing right now. But that should be good enough. We still have a lot of footage to edit, so... <laughs> Oh, by the way, Arcturus, that thing was booking tonight. As it was going down, it was so hard to keep it in frame. Jupiter, a lot of times, you know, goes pretty fast, and it did tonight, but not like... Ar Arcturus was on a mission. <laughs> so... <laughs> and for some reason, um, Antares just came out. I was wondering if I had the wrong star targeted. I mean, there was no red color, there was no flashing color, it was just white. So, I don't even know if I'm going to include it. I'm still working on Saturn. <laughs> I got Jupiter done already. Okay, that should do it. Let me get it in the frame, and we'll shut her down for the night. And by the way, it's uh, Wednesday evening, August 9th. Come on, baby. So we have a slow moon in the summertime and fast in winter. Just my observation. <laughs> and there it be. Alrighty. Good night everybody. Take care. Bye now.